and more, much more right, than this. Frankie Sinatra coming at you. Last year, some girl got in trouble for listening to that in one of my videos in Kaiser Slaughter. Sorry about that. <laughs> Make sure you bring your headphones. All right, so uh, what we're going to learn about today is percents. And yeah, there's like a hundred different ways to do this. And I'm just going to teach you one way because it works every time. Uh, remember that percent means out of a hundred. Basically, it means out of a hundred. How many out of a hundred? That's the percent. When you get eighty percent on your test, that means out of a hundred questions, you'd get eighty correct. Uh, if there's only five questions, like your mastery check, then uh, four out of five would be that eighty percent. All right. So here's how we're going to solve percent problems. Uh, basically, when we're reading all of these, there's going to be a percent. There's going to be an is number and an of number, and I'll show you what that means here in a second. Uh, we're going to substitute them into this proportion we have, percent over 100 equals is over of. And then we're going to cross multiply and solve it. And then we're going to check to make sure we've written the answer correctly, which means if they're asking for a percent, you need to put a percent sign. Okay, so let's go to the first question here. 92% uh, of 42 is what? That's what the question is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle the percent. And I'm going to underline the is, and I'm going to box the of. I'll do that for each problem. So this is the percent. They tell you it's 92%. The of number, the is number. All right, so I'm going to write down the proportion that I showed you. The percent over 100 equals is over of. And so in this particular example, we have 92%. So it's 92 over 100 equals the is, there's no number there, it says is what? That's where we use a variable in algebra. So that's where we put the x. The of is 42. All right, this is a very simple problem now. I just got to cross multiply. 100x equals 92 times 42. I'm going to bring out trusty ti over here. 92 times 42. And we're going to get 3,864. So we'll write that down. And then we'll, let's see, we have to divide by 100. I don't need a calculator to do that because dividing by 100 is simply moving the decimal point two places. So we have 3,864. We're going to move it twice. So x is going to equal 38. 0.64. But I'm going to ask for all of these, let's go back up here, that you all round to the nearest tenth. And do you remember what the tenth is? The tenth, the tenth is like this number here. You have a decimal point and you have one number to the right. So if you remember how to round, rounding last year was a big problem. Students couldn't figure out how to do it. You draw a line after the point where you want to round, and you're not done yet. You have to look at this number on the right and see if that's 5 or higher. If it's 5 or higher, then you go up. So this would become 38.7. Uh, this is not 5 or higher, so we keep it at 0.6. Basically what you're doing is you're saying, which number is this closer to? Is this closer to 38.6 or is this closer to 38.7? Once you get to 5, we say it's closer to this one. But anything 4 and below is closer to that number. So our answer for this, final answer, x equals 38.6. That's what we will take on the mastery check and what not have you. Let's try the next example. Let me get rid of that stuff. Next example says 145.8 is what percent? Let me circle that. What percent? All right, so that's the percent of, oh, there's my of. Let me draw the box around the of, 150.1. So that's the of, and 145.8 is the is. So I'll underline that. So the percent over 100, we're going to write this every time equals is over of and so the percent here we don't know the percent so we're going to just put an x there you can put a p if you want some students like to put a p for percent and the is number in this case is 145.8 and the of is 150.1 okay so 150.1 x when we're cross multiplying equals 
what are we going to get here? 14,000? Is that when you cross multiply? Is that what you get? We're going to have to divide by some ugly numbers here. This is not going to be a pretty answer. But what do we get? Let's go to calculator. 14,580, 150.1. 1,500. Did I just say 1,400? Divided by 1,400. 14, Mr. Kelly, what's going on here? Ooh, that is an ugly, ugly number. Let's pull that over here just so I can see it for now. It is 97.13. So if I'm going to round, I'm going to draw a line like right here. So it's 97.1 if this is not 5 or higher, and it's not. So the answer here is 97.1. We're all done, right? No, we're not done because the question says what percent. And if you go back to the notes, the last one says... Last step, check to make sure that you've written your answer correctly. Percents need a percent. All right, so when we're all done with this here, we have to put a percent after it. So it's 97.1%. And we're done with that one. How fun was that? That was very cool. I'm going to do one more type of problem here for you. 19% uh, of what number is 20.9? So let's erase everything that's much better. Thank you. All right, 19% of what number is, all right, so this is obviously the of, this is the is, we have the 19%. So 19 out of 100 equals, what do we got, the is over of. We don't know that one, so we put an x there. Let's cross multiply. 19x equals 2,090, and if you divide by 19, which I know you all can do, Perhaps in your head, perhaps, perhaps not. You get 110. All right, now it's your turn. Do the next three problems. Pause the video and do the next three problems by yourself. Go! Okay, and we are back here. Did you try these three? I hope you pause the video. Work them all out. I do want to check one uh, little part for you. Let's see what we get here. Let's uncover door number one. What percent of 99 is 56? So before we look at any answer, you should say, all right, 99, what percent of 99 is 56? Well, if it were 100, 56 would be 56%, wouldn't it? I mean, 56 is 56 out of 100. So out of 99, it would be a little bit more. It would be a little higher than, than 56. So here's what we get. If you do uh, what percent is x over 100 of uh, 99, should I highlight these things for you? Right, can you do this? Do you need my help? Do we need to do that? So it's, it's what percent, so there's the percent of 99 is 56. So that's going on top, 99 in the bottom. All right, so we get 56.56, blah, 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 blah. I said the nearest tenth, so that chops her off right here. Now look, that is a 5 or higher. So that means that the, the five's got to go up. So our answer for this is going to be x equals 56.6. And it says, what percent? 56.6 percent. Done with that one. Let's look at number two. Uh, before we look at it, what do we got? 141 is 75 percent. So the 75 percent, that's easy. We have of what? So that's going to go on the bottom, and the 141 is. So that's going to make it look like this, 75 over 100. Uh, we have the 141 is, that's on top. Cross multiply works out to 188 exactly. Circle that one, and we're done with that. It's not a percent, so we don't have to worry about the sign. What is, okay, so the what is, so that's where the X is in the is, of 93, 7%, cross multiply, you're going to get 6.51. Uh, so we want to round it right here. That's a 1, so we just leave it where it is, x equals 6.5. Hey, how easy is that? That is easy stuff. We're all done. I mean, that's it. Uh, no more beautiful music. We, we can do some application type questions. I mean, let's do that. Three three euro tip is what percent of uh, 1870 euro taxi fare? Now, here's my recommendation. Just make yourself a question that looks like these or those. You know, I mean, how hard is that? Let's just make a question that looks like one of those. 
a three euro tip is what percent of 1870? So you want to know three is what percent of 1870? That's what you want to know. Three is what percent of 1870? So I'll do the work down here because there's more room. So three is, and it's a what percent, so it's X out of 100. And the three is the is, and then 1870. Voila. And then if you can cross multiply and solve that when you're all done. Let's try the next one. Uh, what percent? All right, so that's what percent. So it's X over 100. I don't even need to start. Of Bomb Holders High School. So it's what percent of 181? So the 181 goes on the bottom. That's the of. Are the freshmen. That's like is. Okay, are is the same. It's the same verb. They are. They are, they is, some of you probably even say that. So uh, the 42 goes on top, and then we can cross multiply and solve it. Why don't you solve those two? Pause the video, solve them, and we'll see what you get. Okay, we are back. For the first one, we get 16.0%, and for the next one, 23.2%. So uh, my recommendation, application, just write, it, write a simpler problem. That's one of the strategies that we use, write a simpler problem, and you're all good to go. And I think that's it, right? Kelly can't remember how many problems we used. Uh oh. No. Oh, I love this problem. It's Mr. Sullivan and his dreams. If Mr. Sullivan dreamt. All right, so here's the distribution of, gene, of dreams right here. Oh, look at all those. Farmville, NSYNC, Jar Jar Banks. Sully dreams about these each night. If he dreamt for 380 minutes last night, how many minutes were spent dreaming about NSYNC? So you want to know that, I mean, this is the total. This is the total here. So how many minutes were spent dreaming about NSYNC? That is the question. That is the question we want to solve. So uh, basically, it's 34% of, of 380. So you want to know what is 34% of 380? That's the question you want to answer. How about the next one? If he spent 45 minutes dreaming about Jar Jar Brinks, how long did he sleep? So 45 minutes here, ooh, we have 45 minutes, is Jar Jar Binks. Where's Jar Jar? 18%. Hey, 18% of what number? Okay, that's what we want to know there. 45 minutes <laughs> is 18% of what number? So here are two different uh, problems that you, again, just write a simpler problem. And then these are easy to solve using is over of percent over 100. Solve both of these. Pause the video. Solve both of these. Go. So we have our two answers here. Mr. Kelly worked it out. Here is the, uh, the answers that I got. Make sure that you get both of those. Uh, for the first one, it's 34 over 100 equals what is over 380 all right so x over 380 for the second one 45 is 18 percent i always start with a percent and the 45 is the is you cross multiply and you solve both of those so that i'm sure this is like the third time i've tried to stop this video let me look good good enough we are done so uh practice it get your percent down and hopefully you get yourself an 80 percent on the mastery check hey this is Mr. Kelly signing out. Remember, it's nice to be important. It's more important to be nice. See you.